When the Top Gear Festival opens on June 15th, it'll be the largest event on their global calendar this year. The two days at Moses Mabida in Durban will be their only stadium show worldwide to date. Jonathan got a head start on what we can expect by going direct to source in London. Some say he beat the stick in an arm wrestle to get this job. I'm about to meet the man who makes Top Gear live top notch. And I thought, why not arrive in Top Gear style? Top Gear Live and festivals have entertained almost 2 million fans in 20 cities. James Cook Priest steers the whole freewheeling phenomenon. So this is one of the places where the guys sit and come up with those outrageous ideas that entertain audiences. The creative process is, uh, is a couple of heads that get together and uh, it's sometimes in the studio, out on a track. But uh, yeah, creative ideas can come from anywhere. Last year's festival was such a huge success. What can we look forward to this year? Spectacular cars, amazing moments. Thrills, crashes, splashes. The presenters do what they do best, which is normally arguing over supercars or doing some kind of mad you know, challenge. And you know, it's constantly about coming up with these kind of new ideas. Can we expect the stick to be making an appearance again this year? Absolutely. He's a fundamental part of a Top Gear festival. He will be both out on track doing what it does best in terms of you know, driving an amazing ray of, of supercars um, around the street circuit. And he will also be making a good appearance in the stadium as well. I read recently that one of the most asked questions in the world, apart from what is the meaning of life, is who is the steak? But it's the wrong question. Because the question should be, what is the steak? Whatever he is, he's now in Durban. Some say he can DJ and drive underwater. Some say his first name is the... All we know is he's called... The Steg. Invited to a personal audience with the Stig were DJ Fresh, Chad Leclo and Bailey Schneider. Bailey, I remember seeing you in tears at the cooling towers in Soweto. Do you think this will be as bad? I am very, very nervous. I won't lie. I just hope that uh, I hope that he doesn't underestimate me and go slower because I'm blonde. I hope he brings it. I'm only scared of two things: my mother and the tax man. Okay, well you're good. It's just the stick you got to deal with. So good uh, luck, dude. He reminds me of my mom. Though. <laughs> Are you a speed freak at all? A little bit, but I will see today. Ever cool at the wheel, we are told that to get here, Stig was packed in ice like North Atlantic cod, shipped and on arrival, defrosted in a microwave. Apparently, he was still cooking. How was that, man? Dude, that was great. Huh? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> that was harder than racing Michael Phelps. <laughs> is, is your heart still looking at it? Is your heart still beating <laughs> out? <laughs> that was incredible. What a rush. My heart is going. <laughs> that was good. That was I fantastic. I saw you taking a picture of those tires smoking. Yes. Here. That was fantastic. How did yeah. you feel? Felt good. Does it look as rough as it, as it seems? You know what it is? I think because you know he's a professional, you actually feel safe. Top Gear inform us the Stig may also have swum here in the dark. Being half fish, high fives are not his style. This is what I live for. Woo! <laughs> The stick had spoken <laughs> the only way he Woo! knows how. You're coming in hot there, one man. Woo! Yeah, how was that? That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it suits you out there. It sounds pretty hectic. It I, was works, like, I mean, the smoke from the tires, you can hear them screeching. It was throwing my body around like a little You can smell that thing. burning rubber. Hey? Amongst the draw cards at the festival will be FMX star Nick DeWitt, Supermoto champ Brian Kappa, and advanced world aerobatic champion Glenn Dell. Joining us to meet this living legend was former Miss SA Megan Coleman, who's now a successful image consultant. Again, you could fly before you could drive. You've been doing this a long time. I started flying in 1978 and I was 16 and didn't have a driver's license, so I had to ride my bicycle to the airport to go and fly. This looks like a masterpiece. It's an Extra 330LC. It's made in uh, Germany by Walter Extra and it's built for air shows and uh, competition flying. In fact, um, I'm going to go for a flight shorty. One of you like to come with? I actually have a bit of a fear of flying, so I think I'm going to leave the honours up to Simba. Or well, why not? <laughs> Cap 
Captain Dell's day job may be in senior training for a South African airline, but his dad was a World War II pilot, so that may explain his taste for pushing the envelope. Glenn's flown choppers for the Air Force and in his hands this incredibly agile fixed-wing aircraft was performing like a helicopter while rearranging Simba's digestive system. Guys, that looked amazing from the ground. How was it up there in the sky? I'm still waiting for my organs to get back into place because at a moment's notice my body is twisting and turning and I could feel like this centrifugal force just tucking my body is it's the g-force am, am I right Glenn? yeah yeah that's what it is it's g-force when the canopy is towards the center of the of the turn you can feel that g-force pulling you down the weight and when the canopy is on the other side the outside of the turn that's negative g-force and that's really uncomfortable you can feel that you like pushing outside of the turn I'm glad it was you and not me so Megan are you sure you don't want to hop in I'm sure I've actually got my own ride The stick. <laughs> now that's what I call a ride, guys. Should we show Master? Absolutely, let's do it. We understand that Megan is about to open a Durban hair salon with her mom. She's going to need it if she continues riding with the stick. The Top Gear Festival featuring Clarkson, Hammond, Captain Slow, The Stig and two-time Formula One champion Mika Hakkinen runs June 15th and 16th at the Moses Mabida Stadium, Durban.